Hi everyone, it's Karen from Karen Bento. I have had many many requests from you guys for a cute yet very simple bento that could be easily suitable for beginners. So I decided to continue my Sanrio series because I really love the characters from Sanrio. And today I choose Kero Kero P. It's a really cute character. Character? character? <laughs> it's a really cute character. And I think it's supposed to be a little frog. I really like him because he actually reminds me of my childhood when I was living in Taiwan. I know I used to see this character everywhere and I think he's adorable. I hope you will like my tutorial. Let's go in the kitchen! Today we're going to make mashed green peas for our bento. It's a very simple recipe but once you taste it I'm sure that you will make it again and again because it's delicious. Bring your peas to a boil. I used frozen peas and let them cook for a few minutes until they are very tender. I find that making bento is easiest when you have leftovers in your house. So as you can see I have leftovers, potatoes, and I have some peppers in my fridge. And once everything is ready on the table, it's just a matter of assembling. I'm adding the courgette or the zucchini first. By the way, it's one of the first words I learned in Bulgarian, the glitchki. And also had this mix of vegetables and chickpeas and sausage that I had made previously. So we're going to add this too. I'm keeping this part in the video because I want to show you that making a bento doesn't have to be perfect on the first take. You can always change your mind during the process and arrange things differently. As you can see, I decided to arrange my zucchini differently and I think it looks prettier this way. A red bell pepper for the color and it's also delicious. And my leftover potatoes. if they want to cooperate, because it looks like they don't right now. Once your peas are cooked, we're going to make the mash. Look at this beautiful green color, I love it, it's going to be perfect for our Kero Kero pea. The next ingredient is butter. I found Polish butter at my grocery store, it made me so happy. Now please don't be scared to be generous, just take a big knob of butter, because butter makes everything better. Yeah, I really like my bowl. I love it. So yeah, basically add the butter, a little bit of salt and start mashing your peas. If you have a food processor, please use it because I must say that it was quite tedious and quite time consuming to mash it with a fork. Also, you can add a little bit of milk to give this little creamy consistency. And once your mash is done, you can put it in your bento. Here you can see that I'm really flattening the mashed peas because it will be a better canvas for our cheese and nori to make Kero Kero Peas face. Just a last check at the pictures on the phone to remember what his face looks like. So we're going to cut his eyes in some cheese. And next we're going to use nori to cut all the details. So here I'm making the mouth. To make two eyes that are the same size, fold the nori in two and cut small rounds inside the two layers of nori. <laughs> I love the way he looks with his eyes like this, he looks a little crazy. <laughs> and finally we're going to add two pieces of sausage just to make the cheeks.
Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, that really helps a lot. Also, thank you so much everyone for subscribing. You are all sweethearts and you make me happy every day. I'll see you soon in another video. Bye!